The future is now. Hey everyone, welcome back to ICP United. I'm one of your co-hosts, Kyle Stofflet. And I'm Aaron Bieber, your other co-host. Uh, man, we got some big stuff going on today. Uh, chain fusion on 100. We got multi-chain DAOs, multi-chain swapping, and AI on-chain helping with emails? Let's get into it. We're in the new. So Kyle, how about that new uh, ICP dashboard? I, I thought it was really nice. Uh, Definity did a good job with the update. Looks clean. Yeah, yeah it looks really nice. It feels like, mm, man, things are happening. Yeah, the, the globe looks really cool with it too. And then it filters out the projects like with the SNS. Like yeah. when you refresh, it's different people at the top. Oh, you it does? See. Oh, nice. Yeah, so yeah it's, it's really cool. Nice. And yeah. it just feels like a, a really nice fresh update. And yeah, all around Definity has been doing their thing lately. And I appreciate the, the shout out guys. Uh, they, you know, they got a pretty big following. Obviously it's one of the major uh, blockchain projects in the world right now. And, and it's always cool to see them use their audience to help showcase things that are happening in the ecosystem. So yeah, major kudos guys on that. Appreciate it. Something I just kind of notice over the weekend so yeah. like it was yeah. like, like... a lot of buzz a little bit around the community everyone's just feeling a little bit mm, level up and there's a lot going on around the ecosystem i've seen the all nic podcast it is a great job by by kristen mike and and all of them at cloud recently they had the county store team and, and barry on there yeah I mean, we love it i mean we're we're all about it united you know icp united we need everyone talking about it so yeah major Good job, guys. Like, we're looking forward to watching many more of those. Something I've been vocal about uh, for the last couple of years about getting more <laughs> creators out there yep. and, you know, just being a front face for the ecosystem. Yep. And Chris yeah. is, Chris has been doing Chris a great, great job. I mean, that <laughs> tightrope walking over like gorges and like skateboarding, all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a like good dude. Juggling and then doing flips and stuff and, and he just uh joined the hub here as an ambassador so you'll be seeing a lot more uh of chris around we're, we're excited to have him like board as one of our ambassadors over the weekend i was on open chat and i ended up playing a, a new game mm. called journey to world eight where Ooh. you have to like dodge stuff falling down at you and collect coins oh that sounds like fun like oh oh oh, oh it's oh. happening oh 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 oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, it looks like we're done here. Whew. Space junk, it's a problem, you know? Gotta dodge it. Never know what's coming your way, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so lots of talk around uh, the internet computer lately about DAOs. One of the cool things I saw uh, with the, the Global Town Hall was this project called Plebis. Gonna be using Chain Fusion to go for multi-chain DAO. Like, yeah, I uh, saw that they had uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, internet computer. It looks like the main problem they're trying to solve is like complexity around uh, DAO governance. And so like having not just modular governance as a service type thing that they're talking about, but also taking more of a anti-plutocratic approach, which sounds like some big words, but essentially like trying to allow for the power to be split a little bit more, not just who has the most money gets the most votes. And, and they've been working on some very interesting things with that. I think stuff like that's needed. It's Always as an option at the very least, right? Like being able to set up your DAO however you want it to be set up. But yeah, certainly some things, uh, especially more public infrastructure or things like that, where you need a, a wide set of voices to actually be able to weigh in and vote, uh, this kind of thing could be really useful. And so we get to a spot where, you know, if Elon just said, hey, I want to <laughs> buy internet computer and take it over, exactly. like that's an issue. Yeah, so. and we wouldn't want that because it's supposed to be a public service or public infrastructure for everybody. More things with Chain Fusion right now, I saw that KongSwap integrated Solana. So they added two wallets. They added uh, Soulflare and Phantom. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's I mean, gonna. That's a lot of users right there. Phantom. I mean, one of the biggest wallets. That's out an there. OG. I know that was the first one when I was first exploring uh, Solana back in the day. That was the main one I got, and that one's still going strong. Millions of users. It's cool to see. I mean, they're they're prepping for using CK Soul. It looks like Kong Swap wants to add in all these different chains. Yeah. To have like a multi-chain DEX, which is smart because the future is multi-chain. So yeah, it is. and chain fusion is how we're gonna make that happen through the internet computer. Building a new web. 
so last week we had uh, our first broadcast with the ICP Hubs Network. That was a cool collab and hosted by Mulan over at uh, ICP Hub Philippines. We got a great group together. Uh, that was a lot of fun. We had uh, Isak with us, been working uh, around the swap mm -hmm. and oh, the yeah. ICP Hub. Uh, he's been doing the ICP Pulse. It's a five-day newsletter which consists of all things around the internet computer ecosystem, many ecosystem projects on a daily basis. Great newsletter, like thread on socials. He also goes to Binance Square. Yeah, so, he's getting a lot of traction over on Binance. So it's really cool to see that he was on. Uh, we also had Carlos from Ninjita, the New Jersey Innovation and Technology Alliance. Our purpose is to try and uh, educate people about how uh, you know blockchain works. And one of the cool things is that, you know, I want to use the Internet Computer Protocol to do that. We have our website deployed on the Internet Computer Protocol. And uh, we want to start, like, start doing town halls where we're going to talk to municipalities and show them that, you know, ICP tech is the, the ideal tech to use. Bringing the Internet Computer to New Jersey one, one city at a time. <laughs> yeah, and going to a lot of the policymakers, too, to, to really have an impact. So Yeah, that was uh, cool really to hear from stuff. him. And, and Daniel McCoy talking a little bit about the UBIN project that he's been working on. Uh, that was that was a lot of fun to, to hear from him. Uh, I've been working in the internet computer since Genesis. I've worked on quite a number of projects. I've built a lot of cool tooling, some cool stuff for developers. Uh, I do a lot of like teaching stuff uh, for Azel and teaching new developers how to build here. I'm also the founder of a platform called UBIN, which is a file storage, kind of like a Google Drive-like platform on ICP. I've been building that for about three years and uh, it's uh, so far everything's gone well. The decentralized storage, it's, it's gonna be- That could be a big one and I appreciate that he's taking time to get it right. You know, because yeah. that's, you don't want to launch poorly. Measure twice, cut once. And that's, I mean, that's what he's doing. And I, I respect that. And we also have Brandon from Ash and Vitola magazine. I do have two projects on the IC. Uh, both of them are uh, hosted on the IC. The first one is Vitola, which is a cigar centered magazine, but it also focuses broadly on uh, more real world assets as well. That's going to be uh, published once a month with uh, ecosystem projects, just uh, highlighting all the RWAs and good stuff that's happening within IC and around the cryptoverse. And the second half of that is Ashe, which is a cigar brand that's built on the IC. Talking about real world assets and all kinds of cool cultural type stuff. And I've seen a lot of his tweets uh, recently where he's really like making some good points. Uh, like the future of Web3 is gonna look a lot like what we're doing today in the real world, just transferring some of those functions onto like internet computer for instance so that you can have like openness with transactions and assets that are digital that are stored and available and all that kind of stuff like he has some really good thoughts i definitely recommend people follow him we also had ali on founder of odoc we are building on icb odoc which is a freelance platform basically we are using smart contract to get rid of middlemen to help people to just uh, create smart contracts and maybe organize their work between a freelancer and the business owner. Cut down all the work instead of managing your task on one website and then another website to manage your payments. You just put everything in one place. Kind of like Fiverr and Upwork and, and some of those kind of things. Yeah, it's really, really fascinating to see. I mean, you can handle your payments on there for contracted work. Even like, like escrows where if you have a set price, you can put that money in there and then it was released once the job is done. He recently put out how to create a contract with ODOC. This is web 3.0 type stuff and very, very cool. And yeah. all built inside the internet computer. And you guys should definitely check out the entire broadcast. It was a really great time, and you can find that on our uh, on our X feed. There's been some new stuff going around. You might be talking to Confucius in your emails. Or I've always I wanted Confucius. to talk to Confucius. <laughs> <laughs> Confucius, say, eh? Check your email, uh, which I, I think is pretty cool because I've been waiting for a long time, even using some of these other services like Gemini or ChatGPT, like not seeing email help much yet. Maybe helping you draft an email, but like, I think I have 400,000 unread emails right now. <laughs> so the idea of having an AI support for that, that, that actually warms my heart. I mean, it is convenient. Um, 
I've, you know, seen a lot more people using like messaging. So agents, you know, coming into that world. They've been good uh, on social. Emails, yeah. <laughs> emails is where a lot of the meat goes for these messages. Like a lot. The papers people send you oh. and all that stuff. So it's really convenient to have Confucius have your back there. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of wisdom. <laughs> yeah. And Annika in general, man, these guys, I don't know that they get enough attention to be honest like they've had llms uh, large language models on the internet computer since 2023 and they are like a major decentralized ai as a service type of development house so it's like who knows what they're all going to be coming up with but i confucius is kind of like one of those more public facing projects that they're doing and i know they got a lot more in the works i confucius uh, also was involved with the open chat botathon so oh yeah they, that, could... they submitted it to that so that was cool to see too that you know they're showing love to other yep. ecosystem projects yep. and that's what we need to do you know at this stage we need to have like people like jumping into each other's projects and pouring some of what they can into it. So that's really cool to see. Definitely united. Yeah. <laughs> ICP Hub Poland had a workshop with over 60 students. Yeah, those guys are killing it. They're really doing a great job. I mean, 60, that's a good thats a good chunk. That's a lot of devs. Yeah, involved, it's amazing. So. Like, let's go, let's see what Poland can do. And I'm a big fan of Poland. I think that's a under understood country, you know? I got Polish culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. nice. So we're <laughs> we're team Poland over here. <laughs> we love it, we love it. And I see that, that Poland is one of the ICP, one of 10 ICP hubs that's sending their best students to Zurich at the University of uh, Zurich for summer school. I saw a bunch of other countries. I mean, 10 different countries are sending students. What do you think it's gonna be like, Cal? Summer school? Fun or not fun? Summer school overseas, especially if you're traveling, I think that could be cool. Yeah. That's an yeah, experience. They're gonna have a good time. They're gonna be having a great time. Yeah. And hopefully uh, we'll see what comes out of that. A token 2049 is going on, yes. which is one of the largest conferences in the world. It's a big one. Tallest building, one of the largest conferences. And uh, I saw Pierre is doing uh, the Web3 Legends panel, which was cool, along with Hedera, Sui, and Avalanche. All those are great projects. Great. Panel sounds legendary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope uh, hope they're gonna put out some videos and we'll share them. We'll share them if we see them. Well, Piggy Cell is gonna be at Token Twenty Four. You think I would miss that? Like, yeah, Piggy Cell. I mean, this is our third week now. We're on a Piggy Cell streak. <laughs> These little piggies are on the road. <laughs> I guess they're just out and about showing people what's going on there and helping people stay charged up. Yeah, I mean, you gotta stay energized. They're at the market. They were at Coldplay. Now they're in Dubai. <laughs> Next month they're in Zurich. I mean, they're getting around, you know. And not just piggies are on the move. Uh, ICP United is also on the move. Thanks to you guys for the comments and all the shares. Special shout out to Space Gorilla for getting behind uh, our content in a really cool way. Hey, ICP, check out this video. It's pretty good. These people have a lot of important things to say about your future. Pay attention. <laughs> Get it! Get it! <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs>